Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we're doing my Netherlands-England match reaction. Now, I already discussed about this on stream in detail, so I'm going to give you guys a quick, like, four to five minute summary here. I thought Netherlands, for me, in this game were fantastic. You know, they start off great with a great goal there from Javi Simmons. But honestly, after Netherlands took the lead, I was thinking to myself, were Netherlands just sitting back and going passive? It was concerning to me because... It was almost like they were doing what England did in the, the previous year, uh, previous games, that England going defensive after taking the lead, uh, then England got the penalty. And for me, I don't. And for me, it's a penalty. Now, I know some people are going to say in the comments, oh, it was a soft pen whatsoever. It's a penalty because he put his studs up on Harry Kane, dumb for ice, and, you know, penalty was given, and Harry Kane converts. And, guys, Foden almost scored a great goal. Great goal there. Great clearance off the line from dumb for ice, and it is 1-1. And I don't know why uh, I don't know why Kuman brought on Vermeer for Depay was such a stupid decision because Vermeer is like look at his player profile guys let's talk about Vermeer real quick. Vermeer is a I believe he's a midfielder I believe he is a midfielder. Let me just double check that real quick because I'm not exactly sure but I believe he is a midfielder. He is a yes he's a center mid. So why would you bring a center mid on to replace your striker? Wouldn't have they made more sense to bring on Weghorst? I mean, Weghorst would eventually come on, but it would have made more sense to bring on Weghorst. Even Xerxes had, uh, should have been coming on and robbery, you know? And, you know, it was like that. And then the second half, man, Netherlands had a lot of chances. The second half, they should have scored a lot of those chances. There were a lot of close chances. And then, man, in the end, Watkins comes off the bench, scores a winning goal. And you have to give credit to Southgate because he made a big decision. He benched, he took Harry Kane off the 81st minute. Watkins comes on and scores the winner 10 minutes later. Huge decision there from Southgate. And let's be real, guys. Kane has not really been that great in this year's Euros. And we're keeping it real. Kane's only scored two goals, and one of which was a penalty. Now, to be fair, he did win that penalty, so I'll give him kudos for that. But besides today's game, he only scored against Denmark. Oh, sorry, he scored three goals, actually. He scored the header against Slovakia, I just remembered. But, yeah, I just think for Kane in particular, man, just not a great performance. And you see, once again, man, individual brilliance is saving England. And that's kind of the rhythm theme. So, the round of 16, it was Jude Bellingham. Quarterfinals, it was Saka. And now, it is um, it's Watkins. You know, um, I thought particular players had standout games. I thought Mainu and Foden were very good today. I thought Rice, even though he was on fault for the first goal, he was great in the second half. And for Netherlands, man... There wasn't anyone that really stood out for me for Netherlands. I think the only player that really stood out was for me was Javi Simmons. And for Netherlands, as I said, man, Ron Koeman, man, what are you doing with the lineup? Why are you not starting to let? Why are you not giving game time to uh, Berg? Uh, well, actually, Bergwijn's meant to be fair. But why are you not giving game time to Gravenberg? Why are you not giving game time to Cirque Robbery? Why are you not playing um, Matson? Like, Koeman is just such a stupid manager. I'm sorry, guys. Koeman is just stupid. I'm sorry. And for Netherlands, as I said, man, just very poor for them. I know they made the semifinals, but honestly, I don't think they were that great. It's just that I think the opponents they were able to beat. So, like I said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. And for England, as I said, man, one last thing before I head off. England, you better win that final Sunday. Because if you don't win the final Sunday, you're going to have to have a long combo. Because England, it's two Euro finals. Now, you have to win a trophy at some point. Just making a foreign tournament isn't good enough anymore. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this post-match reaction. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.